ever seen a person who dresses up in a costume, you know, on a regular day, and it's not Halloween, and you're like, why are they dressing in the costume? You know, what's the occasion? And you're like, you know, what's the reason behind all this? Well, basically, according to an article by Rosan Tarka, um, she explains how most often cosplaying is viewed as something out of this world. And in that sense, cosplaying is the idea of being a character, dressing up as a character who represents, you know, something more, something, well, out of this world. And it's also the idea of dressing something, like being creative. And so, I'm going to talk about how this Japanese style outfit relates to the music that I listen to, as well as um, how I pertain to this culture. And by understanding this Japanese style outfit, you have a better idea of how you know, I became part of this, and how there's a variety of styles within this culture. <laughs> so to start things off, I want to describe this outfit, which is uh, basically a blazer. Um, it's Japanese style, so, and it represents the Japanese rock music, which I'm a very fanatic of, you know. And it has various designs, you know. It's very intricate, very surreal, I guess. And so basically, I started interacting with this culture because, like, I, I like the music. And so after a while, I started accepting this culture in a very visual way. I started realizing, you know, it has a lot of diversity in it, and I wanted to explore more. So I started to become a part of it. And through this, I acquired various values, such as freedom. You know, I, I have the freedom to become whatever I want to be, take, like, a the identity of a character, um, as well as the passion to do it. Not that many people do what they're passionate about. You know, usually they do something that other people will agree with. You know, they don't want to be themselves. So that's one value that I really uh, value. <laughs> and another value would be um, the idea of creativity. This style is very creative in the sense that it has a real type of art in it. And through this, I've also managed to increase and progress in my artic artistic skills. For example, art. Um, I like to draw uh, Japanese rockers. So I moved from drawing nature to people. And through that, I progressed in my artistic skills and overall creativity. As well as the, uh, um, acquiring the belly of being dark. Through high school, I was viewed as a very dark and enigmatic person. And that's another value, being enigmatic. But these two go together because people didn't really view me as someone normal. I was outcasted in a way. You know, I didn't really make that many friends, but I was who I wanted to be, you know. I didn't let other people judge me because they didn't like this. You know, I just didn't care. It was me, I wanted to be this person. So basically I practiced cosplay. And being enigmatic that value pertains to being like mysterious. Not that many people understood what I was about, and I showed it through cosplay. So overall, understanding the whole visual aspect of this culture and how it has various um, diverse styles, you can have a better understanding how it pertains to the rock music and to me. And many J-rockers dress like this because it attracts fans, it's very popular in Japan. And so pretty much what I covered through this is the importance of diversity and how exploration isn't something negative, it could be something positive, as in the sense that you have the liberty to become who you want to be and practice what you want to do. <coughs> and overall, if you see someone you know, dressed this way, probably they're cosplaying a character. So you know, they're not really a bad person or a very dark person. They just like to be who they want to be. So, yeah.